So in this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of uh, the nitrate ion, right? So it is actually NO3 minus. So how do we draw the Lewis structure? I mean, you see this on your exam and you're like, oh my goodness, like what's going on, right? So the first thing I usually do is I put my atoms to the side and how much I have respectively. Now, we have to pay attention in with respect to our charges. So a negative charge, a negative charge here means that in chemistry that means we've gained one electron, right? So we're going to go to a periodic table and then we're going to see that nitrogen gives us five valence electrons, and then we see that oxygen in the periodic table gives us six valence electrons, right? We're simply uh, if you do not know how to get to the number of valence electrons at this point, um, I've made several videos in the past that you could go ahead and look at and see how you come up with the valence electrons. But pretty much, I get this from the periodic table. The periodic table in chemistry will always be given to you on an exam. Now, whatever total, the re and the reason why I'm doing this is because we need to find out how many total electrons we have to place. So here I have six electrons for three oxygen so this is three times six so in that case this will be 18 plus five right so if i take 18 plus five that would be 23 but remember we have this negative charge here so this would be 24 electrons total that we have to place so usually and i say this usually the first uh, atom in the molecular formula is usually the central atom. Now I say this usually because if I take an example of H2O, the first atom is actually hydrogen and hydrogen is not in the center, right? So again, usually the first atom to the left or in the molecular formula is a central atom. So let's go ahead and place our central atom. And at this point, I could just go ahead and place three oxygens around it because I have three, right? I have three oxygens. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and form single bonds between my uh, my compound because that's the least we could do at this point, right? We're not overshooting anything and we're not undershooting anything uh, per se. So how many total electrons we've used thus far? This becomes 2, 4, 6. So we've used 6 out of the 24 that we have to place. And so essentially... Uh, we need about 18 more. So let, let's 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 form a let's form a a double bond between one of the oxygens, and let's go from there. So if we form a double bond between one of the oxygens, well, what we what have we created? We've created two, four, six, eight. So we've used eight electrons. And remember, oxygen. Is one of those one of those atoms that it octet has to be satisfied. So if I have four electrons around this oxygen, I could go ahead and put two lone pairs around this oxygen. That will go ahead and sat that will actually satisfy my octet rule, right? Two, four, six, eight. So this oxygen is satisfied. How about this one? Right? How about this one? Let's look at the nitrogen first before I actually go to the oxygen. So what about the nitrogen? Is the is the nitrogen octet is it satisfied? Well, sure, I have two, four, six, eight. Okay, and that's feasible, right? We have two, four, six, eight. So nitrogen looks to be satisfied. So let's go ahead and satisfy our oxygen, right? So this becomes two, four, six, right? I can't put a double bond again on the nitrogen because its octet is full. So the only other place I have to put the electrons is around the oxygen in the form of lone pairs. And I could do the same thing on the other side to get this oxygen's octet full. Now let's count how many, let's count the octet around each oxygen and how many total electrons we've used thus far. So this becomes two, four, six, eight. So this is satisfied. Two, four, six, eight. That's satisfied. Two, four, six, eight. This is satisfied. The nitrogen is also satisfied, right? Two, four, six, eight. So let's count how many total electrons we have in the problem because this and the amount, the amount we we count should each should be equal. So this becomes two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 22 24 so this will be a plausible structure for the no3 ion or the nitrate ion now we're not done yet we have a negative charge here so somewhere in this formula uh 
the formal charge has to be negative on one of the one of the atoms that we have right so my for, let's let's count so the formal charge formula and it's a shortcut that i use is the the atom that you're looking at so the atoms valence electron minus the total electron electrons around the atom around the atom of interest and this interest is very important right because it can lead to confusion around the atom of interest so i'm just counting the electrons that's belonging to the atom of interest so in this case let's look at the formal charge of this or let's look at the formal charge of this oxygen first right so this will become two so what's the number of valence electrons from oxygen right that's on the periodic table so this would be six minus the total number of electrons around the atom of interest. So this becomes 2, 4. The atom of interest is oxygen. And this becomes 2, 4, 5, 6, right? So it becomes 6 minus 6, which would be equal to 0. So this oxygen has no formal charge. Now, now let me explain what that means, right? Because you might be saying, how the hell do you get 0? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Well, the atom of interest, so with these double bonds two electrons is actually coming from the oxygen while two is coming from the nitrogen we do not care about the nitrogen's valence electrons that's why we say the only the atom of interest so i'm looking at oxygen i'm looking at only the electrons that's contributing to oxygen so this would be zero so that's uh, right so the formal charge around this oxygen would be zero how about this well Oxygen's valence electron is 6, so I take 6 minus 2, 4, 6, 7, right? I have one valence electron. So this, so the formal charge on this one would actually be a negative 1 formal charge. What about the nitrogen? Well, we, we just said the nitrogen from the periodic table has 5 valence electrons. How many atoms, what, what's the total number of electrons from nitrogen, right? that's of interest to us with respect to the formal charge well this becomes one two three four so this is four minus five so my nitrogen has a plus one charge in the formula now what about this oxygen well we could quickly see that this oxygen is in the same predicament as this so this should be a negative one charge so overall What's the charge on the molecule? The charge on the molecule overall is a negative charge because negative plus a positive will cancel these out. And so that leaves me with a negative, which is what I see in the formula here. So coming to the final structure, and uh, we, we, we could talk about the resonance structures of this in another video, but coming to the final structure of the molecule, The final Lewis structure of the nitrate ion, right? We put charges in parentheses or brackets, uh, would be this.